Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to easily screen record on your iPhone 7 with sound or without sound. I'll cover everything in this video, but first of all, let's check if we can actually screen record. So first of all, open up settings, general, about, and first thing is your software version must be above iOS 11. So any iOS firmware from iOS 11 up to iOS 14 will work, and if you're watching in late 2021, iOS 15 should be supported as well. Also, look at your storage. You should probably have around five gigabytes plus in order to screen record, because if you're screen recording for about an hour and you have 500 megabytes of storage, the screen recorder will crash and you'll lose all of your recording. So make sure you have plenty of space before starting the screen recording. So how do we enable the screen recorder on our iPhone? Well, Apple actually has introduced a native screen recorder with the iOS 11 update, which is why I said you need to be on iOS 11 up to latest iOS 14 and in the future iOS 15. To activate the screen recorder, because it's not enabled by default, we need to go into settings. And then we're gonna find um, where it is, control center. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we see the screen recording option. We tap on plus. Now screen recording is enabled on our iPhone 7. So the next thing you wanna do is you want to swipe up from, um, you see the home button, just swipe up to enable control center. And then you're going to see this button right here. Now, if you tap on it, you're going to screen record with your last saved options. So instead you want to long press. So let's just try that again. There we go. Now we're brought to this window. So this option microphone allows you to screen record with sound or without sound. If microphone is off, you'll be screen recording with internal sound only and not your microphone. If you turn on mic, you'll be screen recording with your internal microphone and also, you know, the audio from your iPhone, like game audio. So we're gonna keep microphone off and we're gonna tap on the start recording. We'll turn this uh, on, so we'll just tap on start and we have a countdown. And once this countdown is finished, the screen recording has started. So every action on the home screen is being recorded. Also, if you open up any applications, it will also record that as well. Now, if you have sound right here off and silent mode is off, you're not gonna hear any game audio or any type of audio when you're recording. So make sure before you start the screen recording, because if you do it um, while you're screen recording, nothing's gonna capture. Make sure that the silent switch is off so you can see silent mode off and make sure sound is on your iPhone if you're planning on capturing game audio or you're recording maybe a YouTube video. Just make sure you do both of those things and then you shouldn't have an issue where um, the audio doesn't show up on the screen recorder. Another thing, never lock your iPhone while screen recording. The reason why is because if you lock your iPhone, it's going to corrupt the recording. This has been an issue ever since iOS 11. For some reason, they haven't bothered to a fix it. And so if you look at iPhone, the screen recording is gonna stop and it's not going to save, which is kind of useless. So to stop the screen recording, we see this red bar at the top, we can tap on that, or we can just tap on that red icon there in the control center. I'm gonna tap on the red bar, and then we see stop, and we'll tap on stop. Now you should see a notification saying screen recording video saved to photos. If you don't see this notification, do not lock your iPhone until you see it. Because if you lock your iPhone, the screen recording will not save to your photos ever and it will corrupt. So make sure your iPhone stays unlocked. Once the screen recording is saved, we can check by opening up photos. And we can see the latest screen recording we've just recorded is over here. When we tap on it, we can see that indeed our iPhone was uh, recorded. You can see all the um, gestures I made. Everything is recorded. And if I scrub around, yeah everything is being recorded look at the clock you can see the time change and you can see me enter control center and you can also see me opening up applications i know when i did that yeah there you can see i'm opening up applications everything is recorded with the native apple screen recorder if you want to share this um you know screen recording with your friends i advise you edit it with something like imovie also do keep in mind the first rotation that your iphone is in is the rotation state within the screen recording, meaning you should probably open up a game first if you're planning on recording a game, then start the screen recording instead of starting it on the home screen, because what's gonna happen is the output is when you're watching in landscape mode, the game is only gonna fill up like a quarter of the screen when you want the game to fill up the entire screen, 
when someone on YouTube, for example, is watching or if you're watching it um, after recording. So that's really all there is to the screen recorder. I advise you to check out my iPhone 7 help playlist in the description if you want to, um, you know, learn a lot of stuff about your iPhone 7. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys later.